that if you have you know, any other ACD Labs products or software um, solutions, you'll know that ChemSketch is that main place you can create and edit your structures. So ChemSketch is also the program where you can create uh, report templates as well. Um, so for a number of different techniques. So um, for example, NMR, LCMS, um, UVIR, any other temp um, techniques like that. You can also create report templates for our specialized solutions, um, such as Catalyst, MetaSense, Luminata. And, um, you know, with that being all said, I think that's a great place to segue into um, the reporting part of um, this webinar. So reporting may not be something that a lot of people are thinking about in their chemical drawing software packages. And it, you know, just may not be mandatory for some people but being able to build reports or creating report templates that look clean and professional um, can definitely be a big game changer for a lot of people. So in ChemSketch, you have the ability to produce these high quality figures and structures. So these can be pulled from you know, the templates that I showed you earlier, um, or we can simply just draw what is needed. Uh, something that some people may find helpful is that if you are planning on creating figures for specific journals, we have the ability to change the drawing style. So you can draw specifically in the journal style that you want. So just as a very quick example, if I bring in my chem sketch window, let me just zoom back in. You'll see that um, under options, right at the top in the toolbar, we have the ability to set the structure drawing style. So you see right now we're in normal, but we have the ability to change the drawing style for all of these different journals. So ACS style, maybe biochem cell biology, um, carbohydrate, um, all these things, photochemistry synthesis. If you plan on publishing to these journals, you can simply just click any of these templates and you'll start drawing in um, this specific style. And like many other things in ChemSketch, as you may have noticed, even our reports are highly customizable. Um, one of the features we find so many people really, really like is the ability to actually zoom in to specific peaks and areas within their NMR spectrum. So what you're getting is really high quality zoom ins and really um, valuable and useful information. And of course, I'm going to show you this um, really quickly as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to open uh, my NMR report like so, so you can see that we have all of our information. We have all of our metadata right at the top. We have our structure, we have our date as well as our actual spectrum. Now let's say I wanted to zoom in on these multiplets um, right over here. What I can do is in draw mode, I can click this button right here that has a magnifying glass, and this is the zoom spectra button. So if I click that and I highlight here and I just zoom across this area like so, I'll let go and you can see that I have this box floating with my um, mouse and my cursor. So what I can do is if I click it there, it pastes that zoom in and now I can actually resize this like so. So you can really get more details of what's going on in your report. So I can do that just you know one more time. If I click the zoom spectra, let's say I want to zoom in on this multiplet right here, I can just go through that. I'll click right here. I can now resize it. And you'll see that all of the information is you know kept within these zoomed inserts. You know, you can very clearly see this multiplet, you can see um, the way it's being split, and you still have the chemical ship area shown right below it. So that's something we find that a lot of people like um, in um, reporting with ChemSketch.